Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Ford C-Max. If you have a Ford Fusion or Lincoln MKZ, what's common between those? They share the same drivetrain. Especially if you have the hybrid engine, it will be exactly the same engines. Non-hybrid four-cylinder engines will be the same as well. And if your radiator fan is not working, the car is overheating, stay with us. We'll explain what most likely causes that and how you can easily fix it in some cases as well. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. Another thing, if you want to save quite a bit of money on car parts, tools, uh, anything for your car guys, check out the link in the description of the video below, that's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So, let's go ahead and start on it now. So let's go ahead and explain what we have specifically here. We will open the hood, support it, and I want to show you here, guys. Now, there is one, okay, one advice we want to give you when working on your radiator fan, guys. Uh, radiator fan, if it turns on for some reason, it can cut your fingers off. So when replacing, removing radiator fan, always disconnect the car battery. On these modern cars, it really matters which battery terminal you disconnect and reconnect first. If you do it the wrong way, you can say bye bye to your engine computer electronics and it can be so costly to fix. How we know that? We made that mistake back in the day and we burned an engine computer that cost quite a bit of money, guys. So uh, we have a video on the channel. Okay, check it out. I think it's on our main YouTube channel how to repair guys which battery terminal to disconnect first and it will teach you that now why a radiator fan may not be working guys one thing okay it could be burnt motor okay burnt motor on the radiator fan can cause that uh, now you can easily test it by disconnecting guys okay the cable there and you can test the motor we have a video that explains how to do that on auto repair guys how to check how to test the radiator fan motor number two you may have a bad radiator fan uh, control module that's the computer for the radiator fan that controls the speed if that is bad radiator fan will not work number three make sure everything's plugged in and you don't have a loose wire number four guys it could be a bad relay bad fuse okay that controls that as well and number five okay it could be bad car computer in some cases but we had that happen only one time on a jaguar vehicle back in the day when jaguar was built by ford it happened guys okay and uh, uh we had to send the computer for rebuild and they fixed that guys but uh, most of the times it will be either a, a, a relay fuse control module box or the fan motor itself hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time